morning for me um i get up i um stretch a little bit i grab for my daily devotionals i have some i listen to on my phone on youtube as well as i have two books um a daily devotional for mothers as well as just a regular everyday um inspirational um uh, daily devotional and um i have to have my spirit uh filled i have to do a little meditation before i start each day and that's how i feel like for the past few years my days have just been joyful despite they're not always good days but i'm always optimistic um and it keeps me that way just spending a little time with the holy spirit before um i started to hustle and bustle every day so that's what you saw me doing earlier and then um um bae he calls he FaceTimes me in the morning time um, for a few minutes before he starts work or starts back to work while he's on his break. So I was chatting with him and then you saw me um, get my water bottle together to start my hydration. Normally, um, most days during the week, I fill this all the way up and I use two ice cubes. The ice cubes that I put on in there are ginger and lemon um, ice cubes that I make. Um, I um get ginger and i grind it or juice it uh, push the uh, juice out what do i use to do that i use my regular ninja um blender and then i pour a little water in it and then i take it and put it in a um a strainer and i just push the the moisture out um into these small mason jars and then i have this small um lemon juice not lemon citrus juice that i got off of amazon and I um, juice my lemons. I combine them half and half. 
put them in mason jars, uh, shake them up. What I can, um, what I have enough trays for, I pour in, pour in the ice cube molds and then freeze them. So that way they're always available. And then if um, I have excess um, uh, mixture, I'll just keep it in the mason jars and put it in the refrigerator. And it stores for a while. Normally, I don't let it sit any more than two weeks so um, before freezing them. But yes, I um, filled this up halfway. And the only reason I filled it up halfway today really is because today I'm going on an outing with my cousins. I love my cousins. They're like my sisters. So we're going to see the movie Blackening and um, going out to this new Mexican restaurant we found out about um, towards Jacksonville beaches. Um, I live in Jacksonville, guys. For those of you who just started following me and don't know, I do live in Jacksonville, Florida, and we're very like minutes away from the beaches. So um, the movie theater that we're going to is like really in the direction of heading to the beach. So we're gonna um, take advantage of being in that area and try this new Mexican restaurant. And I'll bring you guys along. Um, I haven't vlogged in a long time, so this is not going to be one of those weekly vlogs. This is just a little spend a day with me vlog. I hope you guys um, enjoy it and like it. I try not to make it so long, but I do have um, two pieces that I, two clothing pieces that I got off of Amazon that I want to show you guys. Um, I probably either um, probably wear one of the pieces today i'm not sure exactly what i'm gonna put on but i do want to show you those two items guys but um typically girl you gotta stay hydrated you gotta stay hydrated ever since hold on hold on mm. i'm gonna try to finish this before we leave um what time it's about nine o'clock now um probably leave the house about 11 30 because the movie is at um 12 level five or something like that but i want to try to finish my um what i poured in my bottle my water bottle i want to try to finish that before i leave but anywho i don't forgot what i was about to say i did mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. i don't know gosh i don't know what i was gonna say guys this is getting bad this is getting bad okay but whatever um yeah, I haven't vlogged in a while. Like I said, I'm going to take you guys along. Um, I'm excited about the day. It's always a vibe when I'm with my cousins. We are funny. We are very, very funny together. So I'm looking forward to that. So um, I guess I'll probably go ahead and get ready because it's, not, it's 9 o'clock. I got to figure out what I'm going to wear. And like I said, I want to show you guys the two items um, that I got from um, Amazon. Um, what else I want to do? Oh, I just got to get ready. I got to shower. I got to put on makeup. I got to do my hair. <laughs> psych. Psych, psych, psych. I don't really do nothing to my hair, guys. I might put like a little edge control on my little, my little edges right here. And um, actually like around my um, perimeter, you know, guys, where I suffer from the, uh, the tension alopecia. Sometimes I kind of like rub like uh, white powders powdery substance it's not the hair fibers it's it's basically um a makeup compact i think it's like white setting um powder or something and i take my makeup brush and i kind of like rub it on the edges just kind of fill in where it's looking kind of sparse because child some days honey i woke up one day and i look i kind of like got a glance at the side look in the mirror i look like an old ass man yeah I say, oh, uh, something got to give. I'm not going to be defeated. I cut my hair for a purpose to have the freedom for wigs. And I promise you, I am not going to be defeated. So we're going to make we we going to make this low blonde, uh, ash blonde, sometimes platinum. Hell work. It's, it's going to work for us. So, but yeah, I just have to fill in a little bit every now and then. I don't do that every um, day, but today I'm going to, I think I'm going to wash my hair. Shampoo. I'm going to shampoo my hair in the um, shower, so I know I'm going to need to kind of like fill it in a little bit. Um, oh, that's what I was getting ready to tell you guys. I remember, I remember. Um, since March, the end of March, I'm going to say the beginning of April, since I came back from Jamaica, 
guys when I came back from Jamaica and I weighed myself I was 189 pounds 189 pounds um at that point I knew something got to give because if I continue the next thing you know I'll be 200 pounds I, I mean for me it just don't work for me I'm only 5'4 um I probably have a medium sized frame I don't have a small frame but I don't have a super large frame so having that weight on me and I it's just to the things that I was consuming just unhealthy I it's something I had to do something so basically because the way my schedule is and because I'm not one of those people that's gonna get up five o'clock in the morning to exercise I had changed my diet so um what I started doing for more detox bloat swelling I don't eat as much dairy I do eat dairy but I don't eat that much like during the week I probably eat no dairy at all so I cut back on my um dairy because I love cheese um wait I'm lying I do use dairy, dairy deli because when I make my smoothies I use a spoon of Greek yogurt so that's a little dairy but that's basically all the dairy that I do during the week but anywho let me digress I um drink at least 64 ounces of water and I, I drink fruit infused water and I use two uh, lemon and ginger um, ice cubes um, in my fruit infused water I use cucumbers um, blueberries pineapples and um, mango and I pretty much let it sit for at least 24 hours um, what else I do I make a smoothie just about every morning at least at least four days out of the week, I make a smoothie that contains spinach, a spoon of Greek yogurt, cucumbers. Um, what else do I put in there? Oh, I use one of my ginger and, ginger and lemon cubes. I use uh, two, two uh, pineapple chunks, two frozen. All my fruit is frozen. Two frozen pineapple chunks, two frozen mango chunks, about five blueberries and um seem like i'm missing some oh and two strawberries uh cut in half everything frozen except my um cucumber and i use like i i get like these little mini cucumbers from the store so i use like half of that and i put in and i blend it good it's a good green juice um i love it and that is my meal substitute for lunch so i don't eat breakfast because typically by the time i'm up and out breakfast is over I'm, I'm looking towards lunch so i drank that for lunch and then um during the week i eat different things like if i know like on the weekend like i had a um weekend where i kind of ate bad or i had a lot of drinks um basically during the week it's gonna be almost like my detox week so i i do um uh what is it the hot hot girl summer salad I um do that. I use the red, green, yellow, no, red, green, and orange bell peppers, banana peppers, um, eggs, red onions. Um, I season it with a little complete garlic powder, a little bit of a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, I use Italian dressing, and it seems like I'm missing something, but I'll kind of show y'all what what my salads look like and then i um blacken shrimp i do eight shrimp per salad i chop them up and i put it in these baggies because basically during the beginning of the week i kind of meal prep i make enough for four salads and obviously um do four baggies of the shrimp so that way when i get home after a long day i can just grab the salad um um i put the sh shrimp on it i don't I, I boil my eggs. I don't cut up my eggs um, and put them on the salad um, ahead of time. I do that as I'm getting ready to eat because I don't them eggs get mushy in there. So I cut my eggs up, um, pour my shrimp on my salad. I put my seasoning on there then and my Italian dressing. So um, when I meal prep it, the only thing that's prepped together is the vegetables pretty much and the rest of the stuff I add as I'm getting ready to eat so that has been working out for me and then um sometimes I would get these what they call um fit bowls um one of the guys here in Jacksonville he has what he called fit bowls and basically it's a, a a serving of a protein a carbohydrate and a vegetable and those work perfect um as well so if I don't 
grab for any of those items, I may go to Zaxby's and get me um, a cob salad or shoot, that's pretty much what I grab for fast food during the week. Um, yeah, that's, pre that's pretty much been it for these past two months. And guys, I am down to, well, when I weighed myself yesterday morning, I was 171 pounds. So like I said, I started off the beginning of April at 189. And this is June 18th. And I'm 171 pounds. And no exercise at all. I like to exercise. It's just that, like I said, based, my schedule is crazy. So um, that's with no exercise and just changing your diet. So like they say, the diet is, is key. Now, exercise comes in with your heart health and um, you forming a shape, toning, building muscle and toning, which I do need to do, but I'm not pressed about it. I'm just happy that I've gotten all of that extra fat off. And it's not all, but I, I, was, I was getting chunky. This butt was real fluffy. So um, I'm glad. Um, I'm happy for me. I'm glad for me so I'm going to stay with it though it's more so not really um just with a, a diet it's a lifestyle change for me um because it feels good I feel good after eating like that oh okay sorry about that y'all um I had to check on my uh my candle it was over there popping but guys I it smells so freaking good in here. I use, I've been using for like the past two years, this um, burning this pink sugar oil. Um, the young lady who used to do my lashes, she used to burn it in the salon. And every time I walk in there, I just like, oh my God. So she told me what it was. So I um, ordered some from a vendor on Etsy and I've been using them for the past two years but it's pink sugar oil I'll link it below I've been burning that oil and also um, this candle called from Zara called Ebony Woods it smells so 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 lovely in here so I'm um, burning that now um, and it just got me in all but my candle was over there because I don't trim the wig my candle was over there popping so I had to go check on it and see make sure nothing don't burn up so um yeah so y'all y'all should um that's that, that that oil if you like your home to smell good y'all should try that oil out like this is one of the things that i'm like go go buy if i don't tell you nothing else to go buy go get some and um i i use i burn it with a tea light like a little tea light um and on this what is that thing called i guess it is an oil burner I don't know. I'll show you guys or whatever. But like I said, go out and grab that. I think I had got those little things like that from Walmart for like $4, the little oil burners. And um, yeah, house smell lovely. Very much so. So looks like my battery is about to go dead. I have talked a long time. I could talk, talk, talk. But guys, I have not updated you guys on here for a while. So basically, um, that's what I'm doing. So let me get ready. Um, let me change the battery on you guys. And I'll see you later. Bye. Cause I love you Yeah, it's hard for me to communicate the thoughts that I hold But tonight I'm gonna let you know Let me tell the truth Baby, let me tell the truth Yeah, you know what I'm thinking See it in your eyes You hear it that you want me Hate it when you cry You're scared to be lonely Especially in the night Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I wanted to show y'all like a little makeup routine, how I get ready, but huh, time got away from me, so I could not show any of that. I had to rush and get ready, and I'm already kind of running late. But anywho, I wanted to, like I promised, I wanted to come to you and um, 
show you these two items that I got from Amazon. So wait, let me start right now and let you know that these two items were sponsored by a store called Automat. Um, they reached out to me to try um, some items and these two items I selected. This um, right here that I got on now is uh, called on the actual Amazon site. It's called the Automat two-piece outfits for women, lounge sets, pajama sets, long sleeve button down, oversized shirts, and shorts file tracksuit. Um, guys, this is, it feels, this is 100% rayon, um, but it feels like it's like a soft linen type of material. It has like the crinkle type detail. I hope it's showing up good on the um, camera. I'm using like natural light from outside, but it has the crinkle like detail. It's like um, drop sleeve. The shirt is definitely oversized. I got this in a medium, um, ordered this in a medium. Um, this can be loungewear, like the title say. It can be loungewear. Um, you can wear it out like a nice summer, spring um, type outfit. The sleeves, they have buttons on the um, the end. The material is 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 it's lightweight, but it's not like that cheap lightweight. It's it's really nice. Um, and it's soft. It's not hard or scratchy or anything like that. And it's kind of giving linen. And guys, this comes in a number of different colors too number of different colors but yeah i think i'm going to probably rock it with the sleeves um the sleeves turned up folded up and then probably kind of do like this let me see Oh, while I'm doing that, trying to figure out how I'm going to style it, the waist is, is um, elastic waist, drawstring, and this is a functional drawstring. You know how sometimes the clothes are made, it has a drawstring, but it doesn't do anything? This is a functional drawstring, and um, it cinches, it'll help to cinch in your waist. So let me go ahead and tie this. Tie my drawstring. This is cute. This is kind of giving like vacation -y vibes. Um, beach vibes, like say, if you and your dude, you and your bae just kind of wanted to go to the beach but not get in the water, just walk along the beach, this is kind of giving it. And I also like vacation vibe, walking around the resort, just feeling free. It's so lightweight and airy. Um, I absolutely love this. I think I'm going to go back and actually get this in some of the other colors they had too. But this color, um, what is the name of this color? Let me give y'all the name of this color. This color is the apricot, the 01 apricot. And like I say, I got this in a size medium. So it's it's real, it's actually quality. Um, a lot of times we think about Amazon and these quick stores, but guys, this is actually quality. The buttons on here are even nice. They're like a um a white iridescent type button. Um, it's collared. Here's the back, it's not too too short. And guys, right now I'm measuring like a 46 for my hips and my butt. So you can see how it fits. And this is a medium, like I say. So it's definitely um oversized. But I kind of like how I'm rocking this. I got on my um my fossil wash. I got on some um um studded hoops. I got on my um herringbone. Y'all, I had this herringbone since I was 16. Yeah. I got this hair and bone with this hamster charm on. And I don't know if you can see me guys, but right now I'm rocking this with um it's kind of dress dressed down with it. Um rocking this with my Louis Vuitton um slides. But hold on, but you can also rock this. I got some um these little Gucci sneakers. You can rock it like that, or you can dress it up and wear it with heels as well. I'm gonna put um Probably just put a few images and show you how I'm rocking it um, with heels on and also how I rock it with um, the sneakers. So, yeah, this is the first item I got from them. I absolutely love it. I absolutely recommend it. You, um, you'll be happy. Go, go and purchase it. You'll be happy. The material is great. The feel is great. The texture on it is really great. It's actually giving, um, it's giving quality, high quality. So... This is the first item.
second piece that I got from them. And this is called um, the Ethan Women's Tool Top Summer Twist Knot Front Knit Bandeau Strapless Real Sleeveless by 2K Crop Tank Corset Top. And um, on here, the, the actual link that they gave me um, for the item is actually saying Ethan Store. Um, I believe they have like two two names. So, um, but the store that um, is sponsoring this video is Automat. It's called Automat. But the link, and I'm gonna put the links down below. Um, but when you click on the link, don't get confused. It's actually, like I say, it's actually gonna say Ethan Store. So, don't get confused. It's still the same item. So yes, guys, this is this beautiful green color the color um it's called green on the um on amazon it's called green but it's like a sweater material um let's see what type of materials this is this is uh made of 50 percent um this viscose 30 30 percent poly poly am i'm not sure what that is poly am i 20% polyester. It's super soft. It's um lightweight. It's very stretchy. Because this I got in the medium. And I know I've told y'all before. I always complain and saying I have a wide back and everything. So again guys. When I measure myself around my bust and my back. I measure a 40. To me that's big for a woman. I measure a 40. So thinking about my measurements. This is a size medium. This tells you how stretchy it is. But it's very structured at the same time. I love the um, twist detail here in the um, bra area, the well, the boob area. And um, here's the back. And I like how it comes all the way up. It covers my bulge areas. Um, also, the length of it. It's a nice length. It sits right at my waist, my the, the, the smaller part of my waist. I love that for me. Um, but I'm wearing it with these jeans, some of my favorite jeans from American Eagle. I'll also put the link down for these below. But these are some of my favorite jeans. And I have on some um, platform heels that I got from Aldo. Not sure if you can see them. But I'll put pictures up. Some platform heels for Aldo. And I'm still rocking my same accessories. Guys, you can even pair this. Hold on. You can even pair this with the top that I just had on from them. Like say if it's cool, say say this this can be worn for like a casual date night, right? But say if it gets cool, you can bring this top and put it on with it. So cute together. The colors really complement each other. So this is a look, guys. This is definitely look. I actually think I'm going to wear this today out. On the cousin's outing this is what i'm gonna probably wear i really like this together so this is a look these pieces can be separated and put together with all kind of different items on um, that short set that i had on you just don't have to wear it as a short set as you see you could put it on with jeans you can put on a jean skirt jean shorts however you want to do you can take the top and wear it with something you can take the bottom and put it on with something else the shorts and put them on with something else the shorts they even look good with this this top so the options are limitless with these pieces and that's why I love. I like having things like this in my wardrobe. So these two items are definitely being added to my capsule wardrobe. I'm so um, happy that Automat reached out to me and they actually gave me a discount code uh, for you guys that I'm going to link in the bottom. The discount um, code is going to give you 10% off um at checkout when you check out so guys make sure you go um hit them up go drop it in your cart make sure you actually check out and not drop it in your cart because you will not go wrong with these two pieces in your wardrobe <laughs>
guys. So we off to the movies finally. We are late. The movie started at 12.05. It's 12.04. And it's going to take me about 20 minutes to get there. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll let y'all later. <laughs> I ain't got my water, but I ain't got my purse ain't big enough. Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. Uh, <laughs> I want to go to purse. Are you gonna like that? Okay. You sound like y'all cute and shit. Get the big hoes outside my phone. Okay. Oh, uh, uh. I was working. I, I was trying to make some money. <laughs> Bye, y'all. See y'all in a little bit. Oh, See y'all. We'll see y'all in a little bit. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> outside, Nikki, but you're not standing outside. I know, but I know we're going to that place now. We own the place outside. Well, where I had said to uh, Mr. 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 I made the little reservation that was all they had was out there. Oh, well, it looks like uh, <laughs> Mr. 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 Well, I just got on jeans. The jeans shouldn't be too bad. They got a bunch of the stressing in them. We'll be fine. To the movies we go. If I'm with two of them, then it's a threesome. If she alone, you know she a freak one. If it's an escort, it's a police one. King of the hill, you know it's a steep one. If we together, you know it's a brief one. Back in the ocean, you go, it's a, it's a deep one. Forgave niggas and they feelings. Lucky for y'all, we don't do civilians. You say I changed, I say that I millions. Until the others get here, you got to announce yourself. You asking for too much? Am I? I'll touch your penis later. Yeah. So predictable. Okay, okay, we just like we weren't supposed to come up with something this You know how sticky it get. Hey, you know how sticky it get. Hey, you know how sticky it get. Hey, she want me to play with that cat. Hey, she love how I make it a wet. Hey, you know how sticky it get. Hey, you know how sticky it get. They crazy. I'm not worried about no car. I'm worried about my car. I'm meaning, but that's what I was meaning. I was meaning, don't wreck the car, because bitch, we in the car. Oh, yes. I wish I had a mountain here, because it's about to be real fun. With a GPS. Y'all gonna overheat. Y'all better not overheat. Okay. My friend. Ishan, I'm not gonna keep going over this. Wait, I was about to say, now y'all done did this shit in Miami for like the whole week. We for real. Why we gonna overheat? <laughs> oh my you god. This, right, why would we overheat? I don't want to overheat. I don't want to get in no crash or overheat. No why place. would y'all keep talking about a crash? Let me put on my seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of y'all are blackest? <laughs> put me in my, put me in my car. <laughs> now we ain't talking about shade either. Shit. <laughs> Monique, I think you're probably the blackest. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'm gonna go with the white. I love you. Y'all gonna sacrifice me? Yes, bitch. <laughs> this is the story. I just missed the goddamn light. Oh, oh, okay, okay, free. Guys, we'll call you back. We'll call you. We'll call you back, friends. <laughs> That was, that was not kind of... Oh, Lord. Y'all, she is on the people, her friends. You know, she we, know, we know a lot of people by that name. Yeah. She, we do, literally. We we, oh, we do know a lot of people named... I, um, I don't even know who they... Number one, I don't know who they talk about. So, if anybody named Travis see this vlog, they are not talking about you. Don't get them. No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about Travis Scott. Okay, so what's wrong? What's wrong with that Travis? Like Travis Tyler, who the fuck is Travis Tyler? Lord. <laughs> Girl, that's what I was thinking at first. So, okay, let's get this clear. We ain't talking about Travis Scott. We ain't talking about Travis Thomas. 
Right. Who else we said that was her? We ain't talking about Jones, <laughs> Lee, Travis Bell, Travis, 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 Curtis, Curtis, Travis Johnson, you know, Travis, um, <laughs> Travis, 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 James. James. Tra- oh, we back with her. <laughs> We not on live. We on without talking to our friend, her friend. We on that right now. Yeah, it's we talking to go. Them. Oh, the Uh-oh. light green. You know, oh. it take a little bit of time, and it be time to like, move. I couldn't understand. Move, move, bitch. Get out the way. Nikki was gentle. Girl, I was like, I ain't coming to the fucking move, Nikki no more. This shit is listening. I was so tickled. <laughs> Shana was so bad. It wasn't. It, it wasn't a bunch of I people like, in there. I felt like I was at my house watching. Nikki, it. how you were loud? Could you feel that way? It's okay. Well, you know, I think it might have. Been my um juices and berries. What? Was what? That? What you what had? Was it lemons? What was that thing? Was it lemons? What lemon? you had? That we didn't have. I had what y'all had, but wasn't it lemon? Huh? It wasn't you like lemon. It was a light like color. Can. She did that too. I did what? My drink, yeah, my drink right there. But no, it wasn't lemon. Lemon what? drop. What are you talking about? The little, the little jelly thing. You gave us a pack of lemons. You gave us some little jellies. Girl, you talking about who? The animals? Yeah, wasn't it lemon drop? Oh, I don't know what Did the you, you had a flavor? You ate a I, whole I one? I ate a whole one. Oh, oh my shit. God. No, I didn't. I didn't give you no whole one. You sure? I oh, gave you a half of oh. one because I share. You sure you ain't? You with sure? Me? I'm positive. It, it ain't I don't feel know. like no teeth marks was on the. <laughs> <laughs> no, it felt like it felt big. I tore it with my hand. So you just gave me the big old piece? No, I did not. I tore it in half. I, I Why know. would I do that? This is I, so I don't know. Shit. I think she I, she gave me a whole teddy bear. A teddy bear? I don't think it was a little bear. <laughs> what was it? It was a it was a, Yeah, it was That's like a little was. A chicklet. Oh, <laughs> no. You gave me the whole. I, had I whole did one. not. Oh, Nikki cut it. It was crap. bigger than my fingernail. Nikki, no, it wasn't. The lies you tell. <laughs> no. The lies you tell. Lord have mercy. <laughs> well, at least I didn't drink at the church yesterday. I could. First of all, why would they have it? That's regular. For Mexicans at the beach. Right. I like it. I like it right now. You're making it. You're making it. Your shoes got strings on them? All of them, you don't have the title. Okay. Yeah. So they got strings. I just yeah. Yeah. I just don't have the title. I'm like, I don't think I ever seen those shoes. That's I'm like, no. All the sneakers do. The summer ain't even really started. And it's hot. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Interesting. You didn't give away COVID money. You gave it to the to the needy man. Yeah. So Kobe will get back more. Did he kind of remind y'all of Jumbo? Who is Jumbo? Ain't that ain't the uh, little black face thing called Jumbo? Sambo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was right. The black face. <laughs> Well, I thought no people was for, for real for a minute. They ain't even real. Girl, me too. When you, when oh, when you kind of glass, that, I mean, it, 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 it'll it trick you. Like, <laughs> 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 Bye. <laughs> Don't it? I was thinking the same thing. We was walking and just laughing. <laughs> I don't know. Right I was wondering, but I was like, everybody coming out, so maybe we go, maybe we go in this though, and then come out like this. <laughs> How you get in? I got some more. Wait a minute, I'm confused. I'm falling, y'all. 
So maybe that's when they were saying it's right there, and I'm like, right where? Oh, when we was in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's not there, right? You go in the door right here. No. Oh shit. <laughs> that's the kitchen. Mm -mm. That ain't no main entrance. Oh, so it might be that it looked like that's the. <laughs> and it said 102. But it pointed this way. But that can't be. And it can be in the back of the building. Or it's, no, it shouldn't be because that was the kitchen, wasn't it? <laughs> and she just recording. Us this okay, so we're gonna go work. How we get in? Someone help us, please. In the front. But the sign on the door said. Yeah, I feel crazy. We don't. We, we can't get in, y'all. <laughs> So we can't get in. We don't know how to get in. We don't know where the door at. We've walked around. We just see these people dining in this nice, lovely restaurant, but we can't get in. So we're gonna walk through the patio and go in that way. So <laughs> excuse our blackness. Okay, guys, we are at how can I What's the hot chip? Is you pronouncing it with a W? When you pull it up, when she line, when she opened the door, did she say welcome to Wat Sahashi? She just said welcome in. She didn't say her name. Oh. But if you, if you pull it up, you will see the the pronunciation is right next to it. Okay. Okay, we're this place. I can't pronounce it. It's Watsa Watsaki Wasaka. We don't know. We some of us thought we heard them say. Oksaka. Uh, <laughs> so, some of us heard Watsahashi. <laughs> some of us didn't hear anything. <laughs> but this is where we at. Okay. It's pronounced with the W. Watsaka. Oh, shoot, I've been close. I think it's Watsaka. So, let me no, figure out what I want to um, <laughs> drink first. The reservation's still up. And we go to there. Hey, this clearly is Oaxaca. a drink. Oaxaca. It's Oaxaca, guys. It's on Jacksonville Beach on First Avenue. And um, we're here for some, I guess, dinner. <laughs> it's Sunday, so. What time is it? It's lunch. Oh. It's still lunch time. It's lunch and dinner, but we're probably not going to eat again. After we sit here and eat, I'm pretty sure it's going to be our last meal of the day. So, Ranisha. Ranisha, Ranisha going to eat again. But, uh. I was telling them that this probably be the, our last meal for both of us, but for you, you're gonna eat again. <laughs> Lies, we're not gonna eat before her. No. I might have a little dessert or something, but that ain't food. Y'all know what I mean, like meal, like a, a dinner. It ain't gonna be. <laughs> So we might snack on a little something, but we not probably not gonna have a whole donut. So like we say, running show. Sure. That's that's what um, helped me too to put the setting powder. After I put my foundation, I put the setting powder on. Then I do the rest of my stuff, and then I put another layer on, and that's what hold. Did you ever do that one where the girl had like dip? Did she dip it in the um, powder? No, not the, not the water. The powder first. No, somebody else showed me that. My client Shayla. She no, she put it in like the concealer of foundation first and then she um put the powder on it and then put like put it on her. Yeah. I I, ain't, I haven't tried it. But it gave her almost like an airbrush look. It didn't look wet and it didn't look dry at right at that time. 
I can't. I can't. I don't get. I need more coverage because of the marks in my face and stuff. So I can't do that. I wish I could. But you, you know what, my that for your friends? Yes. Oh. So she, you can, you can't miss. You want my cousin is an MUA, so she's giving us makeup um tips. That's what that's what we're talking about makeup. Yes, because I'm I'm 43. I'm 43. I know some people older than me named Courtney that. Yeah, so they would be like early 50s right now, late 40s. That just doesn't give you an old person. Because we're not old people no more. We, I mean, there's not old people. We are the old people. Well, you know what I mean. No, we're not old, but we are the old people. I'm Gen Z. So the people like... Barbara Shirley. Ooh, well, I, I shouldn't have said Barbara and Shirley. I was gonna say that's, they, that's they, old. I was gonna say they, they you know, 80. They, go, they, <laughs> they 80. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what but we cross because we right. They great 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 grandma. <laughs> I think that's who we are. I think right. It'll be they. They're getting ready to leave off the early. I know, that's why I say uh, maybe I shit, but that's why I was going with it. Baby boomer, so I don't know where we She do, it. no. She, baby I be like, Mama, why do you keep talking? Nobody wants to discuss your death. I ain't going to be here by the end. She said she wasn't going to be here when Tori graduating. Oh, I probably ain't going to be that in. My mom be saying She said that it too. then. Anytime somebody says she ain't going to be here. <laughs> Yeah, but I think, what is it, millennium? I don't know why they scared about what's going to happen. If, if what, we certain about one thing is that we all gonna die. Yeah. We don't know when, but we will. That's just the, the life circle. The circle of life. No pain. I wanna go in my It's true. That's a grandmama phase, right? That's the Lord's will, and I see you tomorrow, girl. Oh, my mama say that every that's, time. And that she makes said, me she so mad. I said, that's a grandmama saying, yeah, right? Now. That makes me so mad. She like, Lord's will. No, mama, you gonna see me. You better manifest it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't ready to go. I'm not ready. I'm not afraid, but I'm not ready. Yeah. I want to live a little more. Well, you live, you supposed to have lived out your purpose before you went. He ain't gonna let you go home before you did that. Yeah. So you fulfill his calling. But it's, it's, it's probably, they haven't tapped into their purpose, but God's purpose for them has been achieved. Yep. I'm but just here on this earth doing God's so work. No. But I, I don't, sometimes I don't think it's a thing like that. I, I, I don't. When you just comfortable with that, you live in the life that you want, I think it may not be levels. something serving. Your purpose may be not to directly serve someone. It may. But it, I think I think your purpose evolves as you reach different levels yeah, in your life. That, that's true. So it's not, oh, I'm setting out to see my purpose. My purpose is God. I'm whatever that you're putting in for me, like I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm doing help a to, yeah, help me yeah because that. any, there's the purpose. And like. whatever you do is purpose for somebody. You may not think that. But. Gotcha. Do we know Nope. I'm it's like ain't nothing else to talk about. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and just have your moment to yourself alone, being your own thoughts, your own mind. And I think that's okay. I think I think most people in a relationship feel like that, both sides, you know. Sometimes you both want you both even probably wanna have your own time but don't nobody wanna say it. Like, hey, give me my own time. So y'all both just sit there and y'all quiet Self-care is I don't agree with that because I think the bedroom is where a lot of intimacy, not just sex, but a lot of intimacy. Yeah, it's just the we got a cuddle. That's that's weird. That's very weird. Unless there's some kind of medical reason that we're sleeping in separate bedrooms, I I I don't agree with that. <laughs> it sounds like right. That's what it sounds like. A partnership for real.
Thank you.